Hey guys, it's Everything Cards, and today I'm going to be doing a deck review I've been wanting to do for a while now. It's on the Tendril deck, okay? I'll give you a quick look at the, the front of the box. It's very swirly throughout the whole deck, um, which you'll see later in the cards, and it says Tendril. And I'm going to talk about these, these pips uh, just for a second. You'll see in the rest of the cards, they keep the same coloring. For the red cards, it starts out uh, yellow and then uh, orange, sorry. A light orange, and then as it fades out to the uh, the outside, it's a deep red. And where you'd normally have your clubs and your spades, the black cards, it starts off yellow in the middle and then fades out to a light green. And you'll see that throughout the whole deck. And so that's the box. Let's get into the, the actual cards. I'll give you a quick look at the back design before I give you show you the extra cards. Okay, again, it's very swirly, and it has some uh, spots as you can see. Okay, uh, you get a double backer right here. You get two jokers. One of them is the the fiery red and the other one's the the yellow and the green. And you get a gaff card. This is what the normal tennis spades looks like. And the gaff card, if I just give it a quick snap, looks like this. Alright, those are the extra cards. So this deck was designed by a guy named Paul Carpenter. I'm assuming most of you have heard of him if you're a playing card enthusiast, <laughs> uh, like I am. So he did this deck, the Tendril deck, and he also did the Orem deck, which is another really cool deck of cards. And what is evident in both of, both of these decks is the thin borders. Okay, This is kind of a must-have for me. I really like thin borders on all my decks of cards. Um, so yeah, it has thin borders, which is really cool. And also it has some shadowing on the on the borders. It starts off with a black border and then kind of fades out with gray and ends with white. You can see it better in person. Okay, so Paul Comprender does stuff that you don't see with decks of cards. Like on the Orem deck, it has a cutout on the back, which is which is really cool. And on this deck, it has the shadowing borders and the really neat colors. Okay, and also the faces are like I've something I've never seen before. In the back, uh, in the background of the card, I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up. Maybe in the right light it can, but there are swirls in the background, just a couple swirls uh, on every card, which is really cool. You can see it in person better. Um, but yeah, and obviously where you normally have black cards, it's that yellow and green, and yeah. The pips in the middle are placed a bit differently on your normal than on your bikes uh, and tally hose. Uh, they're like this row's going down and this one's up. It it's it's a bit different, but I still really like it. So the the faces of the card gi gives off a really custom feel. I'll show you some of just a couple of kings. Uh, you can see it's very custom and the the design work is very thin, which is really cool. Um, I really like these face cards. Okay, I'll just go through and give you a quick look. And then I'll also show the aces. It's just an enlarged pip in the middle. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick look at some of the, the face cards. Another ace, more face cards. Okay, uh, you kind of get the idea. Okay, and then the ace of spades. I'll just show really fast. I really, really, really like this ace of spades. This goes down as one of my favorite... Ace of Spades on any deck ever. Uh, and I don't really think I have to explain it. You can just see why I would really like it. Okay? Alright, that's the look. Let's get into the handling. This deck has a Magic Finish and Aristocrat Stock, which is definitely my favorite combination on any deck of cards. Uh, it just... It's, it's perfect. Okay? I really have no complaints about the handling of this deck. Um... Yeah, you can do fans effortlessly. It's completely perfect every time. And the thin borders makes it look just outstanding. Okay. Uh, and the aristocrat stock also makes pressure fans really easy. And also springs, dribbles, waterfall flourishes. All that is just effortless to do uh, in the hands. Okay, if you haven't picked up a deck with the magic finish, I highly recommend you doing this. You 
you can survive with air cushion finish decks for a while, but you just get tired of it. I mean, it feels the same over and over with every deck. When you get a magic finish deck, straight out of the box, you can tell the difference. It's a lot more slippery, but you can still do like all your cuts and flourishes with uh, magic finish decks, if you're good. Like, not me. I'm not good at cardistry. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I I really like this deck a lot. It's It goes down as one of my favorites. As soon as I saw it on Kickstarter, I knew sooner or later I was going to need to get it. And I hope after seeing this review, you feel the same way. Because it's just really, 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 really awesome. Okay. So, yeah, go buy it. I'm sure it's not too expensive still. Although it was limited, you can still find it on eBay for some pretty good prices. 10 or 11 bucks. Alright, so go get it right now. Stop watching the video. One, because it's over, and two, you need to go get it. Bye, guys.